Ow. Okay, that could have gone better. How? I don't know. <sighs> the guys are going to be mad as hell over this one. Why? What did you do? I did a thing. Did you unleash another zombie apocalypse? No. Did you wake up Cthulhu again? No. So you've summoned a demon? Yeah. God help us. That's not going to happen. We'll have to take care of this ourselves. What do you mean, we? This was your fault. Yes, I know, I know. I shouldn't have constructed a portal leading to hell, but I did. You can blame me later. For now, we have a demon on the loose. If we don't find it, we're in trouble. <sighs> what do we have to do? Demons stick out like a sore thumb, so they're trying to possess others to blend in. They can cause more chaos that way, but they can't stand the sight of religious icons. So we have to go around holding up crucifixes to every person on Sodor? I wonder why the phrase needle in a haystack is coming to mind. It doesn't have to be crucifixes, just something a lot of people worship. And we may be able to narrow it down. Demons are drawn to the outcasts, the abandoned, and the despised. They'll seek out the most foul, depraved, and depressing individuals to take over. Their suffering is like flame to a moth. Then we should start with the dregs of society. Gordon, you check the furries, Henry, the incels, James, the neckbeards, and I'll start with the more debased members of our roster. Hey, Percy, are you surprised? Well, no, but it still hurts. And what if I am possessed? Don't worry, I may be an unscrupulous, immoral, unethical lunatic who could give the Nazis a run for their money, but I'm always prepared. In the event of a possession, there are contingencies in place. <laughs> Hell no! I'm not going to be subjected to your contingencies! Would you be more receptive if I told you it involved extensive amounts of probing? Oh, in that case, go ahead! Okay, here we go. Huh, I guess it's not him. Bugger! Sorry, Percy, but if you still want to go through the probing, we can talk about price. Next, please! Well, that's everyone. No, it's not. Not even close. <sighs> How have you chaps been going? Fuck you, Edward. Agreed. If I have to behold one more unwashed, corpulent failure of a human being, I'm going to wretch. Aye, the stench of dry jizz was enough to knock me back ten feet. Perhaps a change of strategy is in order. We don't want to be accused of being the Sudrian Inquisition. Nobody expects the Sudrian Inquisition! Ha ha. Not to be rude, Jeffrey, but we're a little busy... Whoops. <sighs> Hideously overrated. Yes, quite. Well, fiddlefucks, I'm not surprised. I've seen your Amazon wish list. No amount of wishing shall save you now, for I am the harbinger of darkness, the right hand of the devil. This sinful world will burn, and all will be made to suffer an eternity of torment. The heretic shall weep, the deviant will languish, and the scientist will at last know that E does not equal MC square. Okay, now you've crossed a line. Time to break out the contingencies. Which are what exactly? Three simple steps. Talk therapy, a warm meal, and a full course of rectal shock therapy. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Open wide! You'll never take me alive! That suits me just fine! What the hell just happened? I have no idea. Happy Halloween, everyone. Like, share, and... Oh, forget it!